Hi everybody. Hey. hey. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Dead Walk Talk number 16. Home is the name of the episode. Home. Home. I'd like to apologize uh, for uh, <laughs> last week's outburst. Somebody wouldn't let me win, you know? So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, AMC! I'm gonna show you what a war is! You want carnage? Come to the jungle, man! Come to the dungeon! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, AMC! I've had enough of this crap! I don't care if Glenn can't do it! I don't care if he doesn't like you! I'm talking about it! Um, I've been relegated to the small gun this evening. And, uh, yeah, this show will be completely PG. No, uh... No swearing? No swearing, dude. No, uh, no screaming. I really like that shirt. It's a good shirt. Yeah. I've had that shirt a long time. My arm is a little sore, actually. <laughs> so, it's like wrestling a bar. Yeah. Should have brought my coonskin cap. Sometimes I get carried away. Why don't you start this one off, Hap? Uh, okay, I, I can just tell from conversations outside the dungeon that I'm going to be the odd man out here, but I, uh, I like this episode. Because uh, <laughs> I know you guys didn't like it, but you know what? If you have a zombie uh, horde doing nothing but attacking you for the whole episode, every episode, this show would have been over two seasons ago. So uh, I was thinking about it tonight, and I was thinking, how can I explain this in good terms? And I'm going to use Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> Dawn of the Dead is a three hour movie, and I've probably watched that movie probably 80 times. And the last two episodes, not so much the last episode, but this episode reminded me of Dawn of the Dead. Because what they do is they tell a story, and then they have zombies, and then they tell more story, and then they have more zombies. And that's exactly how Dawn of the Dead goes. You don't have zombie hordes rushing through the mall for the whole thing. In fact, if you time it, you've only got less than a quarter of the movie is a zombie horde attacking and I was thinking because I could tell you guys were getting pissed off but there's a lot of story they got to go on here Rick's going nuts Rick. Uh, you know just the, the government they got so much stuff to cover they can't have zombie outbreaks 24 7 so I mean as long as they have at least one good during the show and today they had two the bridge scene was really good Get out of the car. I know you're not talking to me, brother. And then the ending I thought was was really good. So, but that's yeah, what I. The ending's what we want to see. Yeah, but that's what I broke it down in my mind. Is they have you cannot have zombies 24/7 on a TV show because people will get tired of it because it'll be the same old thing. They kind of lead you up to, you know what I mean? So you're all, you're so pissed off because you're not seeing any zombies and then boom, they throw them in your face. So that's, and that's exactly how Dawn of the Dead is. Do you know what I mean? Maybe not that drastic, but that if you watch that movie and you break it down, that's what it is. It's three quarters awesome story and it's one quarter awesome zombie outbreak. And that's what this episode reminded me of. And that's what I thought. So that's my two cents. I uh, I agree with you on the premise that you can't have a zombie horde attacking all the time, but with something like Dawn of the Dead, you actually had a solid backstory to develop around a zombie's attack. Well, that's what they're doing here, though. But they have such a weak premise. I mean, you have the antagonist, which is uh, Merle, which yeah. he's, and I'll be honest, doing a fantastic <laughs> job. That... They're all dead. Makes no difference. How can you be so sure? Right about now, he's probably hosting a housewarming party where he's gonna bury what's left of your pals. That, that he, he's all right, you know? Yep. His, his little conundrum about deciding to help the, uh, uh, what was it, Beaners? Beaners. Yeah, the Beaners, <laughs> right? Yeah, you know he's yeah. not gonna like them. The, no. uh, stopping you know, he's, he's thinking about scamming from the, the mother and the child in the car. Yep. I mean, that, that's, that's what you want. No one likes them. Yep. And they're doing a great job of making sure that no one likes them. Yep. 
But then you have the line from the governor to Andrea, well, I can't lead anymore, you have right. to. I, yeah. I wrote that in my mind before I even came down. Mm -hmm. to the dungeon to watch the show and I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, it's like the, the acting's getting bad. Like, yeah. the, the doctor, the doctor guy, like his acting, I mean, He's... the acting that I did in here last week was probably a little better than that guy. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm, like, not, just, oh, I'm not disputing you know, that fact. I, I, I you've know. scared me. Really, dude? What? Did, I, yeah. And you survived yeah. the zombie oh, apocalypse for, oh, what, a year? Oh, yeah, of course. I want to follow you. Yeah, you're my I'm friend. I'm listening to my alpha waves. Huh? I think he's, I think he's a Barry Manilow. trying to show intimidation or he's intimidated by by Andrea but he's just he's a horrible actor and it's just it is comical it really I don't know yeah. if they're trying to do it on purpose or if it's just they, they throw the monkey <laughs> wrench in with Rick in his, in his psychotic break yeah okay I'm starting to it's, understand yeah. the reasons why because yeah. you know you can't have just constant confrontation personality conflict you need to throw something into the mix yeah. Yeah. but then and again this is the I can't remember his name Dude with the, the goatee, our old jailhouse oh, buddy. Yeah. What was his name? Cooter? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what his name was. <laughs> oh, Cooter. Roscoe P. Cotrain. Yeah, was, anyway. Was Oscar and I can't remember now. Yeah. I dig him and boom, right away. You know, it's, you get Yeah, we talked about that one time. It's the it's the red guys in Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. The old Star Trek, the yeah. red guys. Yeah. You know they're they're basically yeah. They had to kill somebody, yeah. so it was the, the guy. Why that, not the guy that we all seem to the like? The guy that makes the least money. <laughs> yeah. plus, he, plus, he was hitting pretty hard on uh, what, whatever her name is. Oh, Cheryl. Yeah. And, and, and you Cheryl know, was coming yeah. back. So. You gotta there's populate a, the another, world again. Hello. Yeah, there's another sub story that they're taking eight yeah. years to finish out because yeah. you know Daryl and her are going to get together. Yeah, oh, yeah. But, I mean, come on. Why but, anyway. Okay. With that, so, with that in mind, really quickly, uh, you've got the antagonist, you've got a. a well, I enjoy the antagonist, but you've got a fairly weak backstory depending on the governor or mm -hmm. Andrea or whatnot. Mm -hmm. I mean, the zombie attacks were actually fantastic today. Yeah. I mean, that hatchback, I've never seen a hatchback used that way before. <laughs> <laughs> my mom always warned me to not get my fingers caught in a door, but... <laughs> Your head? Yeah. Right? Oh. But the ending, again, we argued while we were watching it about... Who is driving and why? If it was Andrea driving through, if it's somebody coming to save them, if yeah. it's the governor and his attack, that was a nice spate or a spin AMC, and I appreciate it for that. But I'll let you go, Ax. Okay. For those of you who haven't tuned in, we don't get too many rubber chickens down here. Actually, we've used we used the rubber chicken a few times. So the way it works is, if we think it's a rubber a rubber chicken denotes a, a real stinker of a movie or a show now we have never used it on the dead walk talk before but what the way it officially works is everybody's got to agree that it's a rubber chicken and then we toss the rubber chicken towards the camera and someone has to verify it by honking the horn okay so it's right there uh so i am really really close right now to throwing the rubber chicken okay because yeah, okay, fine. I agree. The Dawn of the Dead... Uh, uh, um, uh, example is a pretty good example. You know, but they're, I think they're overplaying this whole... You know, ever since this, this entire season has begun, the whole crew has been at each other's throats. I'm sick and tired of it, man. Like, you know, we had a two two month and eight day hiatus in the middle of the season mm -hmm. come back and uh let's do some uh you know some 18. what you doing sucker we gonna somebody your own size sucker how about this sucker hey sucker you gonna pay i'm a damage this sucker with this sucker 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 hey sucker you better watch when you're pushing I mean, A Team was uh, one third story and three, uh, you know, and two thirds action every week. Mm -hmm. Okay, like what they did at the end of the show, that's what they should have been doing right from the get go until maybe the end of this show, and then have a little story building. That's what I'm saying. So I'm really close to setting sail with this rubber chicken right now, but I don't want to hurt him. 
because he's uh, he's a nice chicken. He's a little bit uh, he's a little bit bald. So I'm gonna put him down over here, and I'm gonna wait to see what happens. But you know, I don't need to hear any more story building about Rick and his nervous breakdown. It's like they're 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 overplaying this stuff, the whole Andrew stuff, the drama. Like, let's have some action because. We, we know that there's only like what six shows left or I think so. you know what I mean and then it's gonna be another cliffhanger we're gonna be sitting here waiting for another year do something that's what I say mm -hmm. do something you know there's been a lot of story building this the story building has been going on now for this entire season it's like there's a camp there's a camp let them go at it for three episodes because I'm ready for some action well cool. I'm, I'm ready for some action <laughs> And I will lend my guns to the jail. I'll fight on the jail side. I don't mind. I will go. Rick, if you need me to guide you, I'm locked and loaded, pal. And I'm ready. Okay? Daryl's back. Yep. Forgive Merle. I think Put Merle on a leash. Okay? Yeah. It's time let to... Let him run. Well, yeah. I think they, I think yeah they, let him I run. Think let, him, well, let him muck about. Make yeah. him... The kind of the, the central I core think, of I driving th people in and driving people yeah. out. I'm all cool with that. I think he's got he's gonna have a change of way. What you'll see in the next episode because, I mean, Michonne saved his life. I think that symbolized the, yeah, the sword in the head, blah blah blah. Right? And then Merle saved him too, right? Because he had his back. So, you know, maybe when he was looking, gazing through the fence there, he, he snapped back into reality <laughs> and he thought, hey, maybe I should. Yeah. Hey, beaters, really? Yeah. <laughs> they can't wow, give that away. Came yeah. in and let's, I let's, cannot let's, give that away. Let's hope. Yeah. So, so, I don't know. I think yeah. we have differing opinions on this episode, but let's give her one more chance next week and see. And then, yes. you know, if it doesn't improve, then we'll give her a rubber chicken. I mean, there isn't, no, there isn't any other, you know, zombie it, um, show out there, so I shouldn't be unhappy. But, you know, it's kind of like... Well, you know. after last week's episode, I mean, it couldn't get any worse. I mean, really... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, that was pretty much the bottom That was her first one back, too. So, yeah, I'm just I mean, glad just Maggie so had a chance to hold the baby and realize that everything came out okay. Yeah. <laughs> The, ba the baby had socks. Too. Yeah. They got socks for the baby. So maybe that is a positive yeah. symbolism. You got to read into the symbolism of this show, yeah, right? right. So, I don't know. All right. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. There we go. Let's see what happens. Okay. I guess that's it. That's I can't it. afford to rip up any more shirts. No. Uh, fighting evil. You're not wearing anything underneath that now, anyway. No, are you? Fighting evil is a hard business. I don't get paid a whole lot. Uh, we we do this uh, on a volunteer basis. So uh, if there's any volunteers out there who want to lend themselves to the Destruction of vile vermin of the old types. T-shirt fund. Then basically, come on down. <laughs> the T-shirt fund. Yes. <laughs> oh, bad the bad oh, episode. Walking Dead T-shirt. Victor fund. wants to get in on the action here. He's oh, wow. basically, yeah. He doesn't come alive too often. Okay. It's kind of so, like, yeah. Right. This has been uh, Dead Walk Talk number uh, 16. 16 yep. Home. Home is what it is. And let's hope that home is where the war starts next weekend. Or, you know. Yeah. That's what I, have I just want them to take over that freaking jail instead of pissing and whining about, oh, we're stuck in this little area. How about you just carry a stick with a point on the end and just poke everything through the bars yeah. until they fall down? Anyway. Yes. <sighs> Next week's going to be good. Okay. All right. All right. That's it. Stay tuned. More Doom Guard report coming. Yep. Fight evil. Wherever it may be. Stay scared. Stay